Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the error code 0xA0430721 when attempting to install Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So if the issue is with Google Chrome, you just want to go ahead and open up a web browser. And I'm going to have a link in the description of the video here, guys, to Google Chrome's standalone download here. So I just went on Google.com, basically, and this is just going to give us the standalone version, not the web version. So it's going to download the entire installer in one download here. Again, we're getting this directly from Google.com and it's Google Chrome. This is Google Chrome's website here. This is not a third-party hosting service. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and just select the download Chrome button here. And once it's done downloading, it's about 95 megabytes in size at the time of this recording. Just go ahead and open up that file, and then we can run the installer from there. So it's just downloading it all as one big package. That's the difference between what we were probably going to do if we just went on Google and downloaded the Chrome installer directly. This is a little bit of a workaround. If you want to put on like a USB flash drive and maybe install Google Chrome on a computer that does not have internet access, this is the download that you would use. So pretty straightforward on that, guys. And it just opened up, but I accidentally just closed out of it. But you can see Google Chrome has been installed on our computer. So pretty straightforward on that. If you're having an issue with Microsoft Edge, you can open up the search menu. Type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and select that. Select the apps button on the left side. And then on the right side underneath apps, you want to select installed apps. And then search for Edge in the top field here. And select the three-dotted icon next to Microsoft Edge. And select the modify button. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And it's going to say repair Microsoft Edge. Repairing Microsoft Edge requires an internet connection and will reinstall the browser. Your browser data and settings won't be affected. Go ahead and select the repair button and give this a little bit of time to run here. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point, then your issue has been resolved if it pertains to either Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.